You know what's on my mind right now? The number 666. Someone pointed out that I was coming close to my 666 video. And I just realized, you know what? There's a number that gets a bad rap. And why? Because, oh, it's the number of the beast. It's the devil's number. It's in the Bible. It's an evil number. Okay, here's some news for you. I may not be a religious person, but I've actually read the Bible. And I've talked to biblical scholars. Guess what? 666 is not an evil number. If you actually read it properly, but in the Bible it says... Okay, if you read the Bible properly and you actually understand it, okay, you cannot put the number of the beast in a book without corrupting that book. Hmm, what does that mean? It basically means that if you actually put the real number of the beast in the book, that book would now then be evil. And I don't think you want to say the Bible is evil, is it? Some might, but, you know, let's be honest, it's really not supposed to be that way. So what is it then? Well, if you actually read the thing properly, the Antichrist is upside down when he's crucified. Take 666, turn it upside down. What do you got? 999, nine, nine. that's right, a holy trinity vroom, squared. Really simple. 666 is not the number of the beast. People get off of it. It's not that big a deal. It's got a bad rap. It's like in Chinese culture. Four fours. Oh no! 4,444! It's so evil! Why? Because four in Chinese sounds like death. You know, people, it's just a number. 666 is all it is. It's a number. And on that note, you know what? You know, some people have called me Mr. Satan for a reason. And because why? Because the truth is the truth. Don't even get me started on the origin of Lucifer. Good night.